this is an introduction to logo click on the logo icon you have two windows one this is where the logo turtle will move around the second one is where you type in instructions here's some sample instructions I'm going to move forward by tapping in FD for forward and I give it the number of units in this case I'll say 100 I can turn by typing right turn, RT, or left turn, LT. I'm going to turn right, RT, 90 degrees. I'm going to go forward again, forward 100. And I'll do the same again, right turn 90 degrees, forward 100 degrees. Right turn 90 degrees, forward 100. And now I've given instructions for a square. If I don't want to type the same thing over four times, I could put it in a loop. I could say repeat four times, square bracket, FD 100, RT 90, square bracket and then it draws a square. Over here this button I can reset it or I can type in CS for clear screen. Let's try the repeat again. Repeat for square bracket FD 100 RT 90. Now maybe I want to make a square but I don't want to type in the instructions over and over again. So I'm going to clear the screen and this time I'm going to create procedure. A procedure is a set of instructions with a name. That way I can just call the name and the instructions will be written. So I'm going to do file edit and I'll have a new procedure and I type in to my square to create my procedure. And now I have an editor pop-up it says to my square. Actually, I didn't need to say to because it already put set in. So I'll delete one of the twos. And then I give the instructions repeat for FD 100 RT 90 and square bracket. Now, I'll save and exit, and now I should be able to type in my square, and I, I get a square. And I can do some interesting things. I can do, for instance, um, repeat 360 times, square bracket, because it's a repeat, and I'll say draw my square by typing in my square and then I'll say right turn 1. Of course if I repeat it 360 times and turn right once it'll make a circle of squares and I'm going to execute it and I get this interesting pattern here which is a square drawn uh, 360 times and rotated one degree to the right each time. Now this is quite a useful little procedure I've written here but the problem with it is or a limitation of, of it is is that it's always going to be the same size so perhaps I want to be able to draw squares of different sizes so what I can do is I can do file and edit my square and then what I'm going to do is I want to make the size which currently is 100 units I'm going to make that what we call a variable and I'm going to pass that as a parameter, so I'm going to type in size. I type in colon, which is the key. Uh, you hold on shift and the key just to the right, the letter L. Colon, the two dots, size, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of 100, and I'll do the same thing here. Colon size, and this will give it the variable name. Um, that means the, the value can vary, so we call it, call it variable. And I'm going to do file and save, save this. 
save and exit. And now what I do is I type in my square 100 is going to be my variable or my parameter which I'm passing to it. And I'm going to type that in. I typed that, I spelled that wrong. Square 100. And it draws a square the size of 100. Clear screen. And I'm going to do my square uh, 50 for a square half that size. And now I have a procedure which is a set of instructions with a name and I have a variable that I pass to that procedure which is size. Now how could I make this a little bit more versatile, this procedure? I could do file and edit and I could come in and where else do I have a number? Well I have a number here which is the number of times I repeat it and I have a number here which is 90 degrees. So I could do colon sides for the number of sides and I could write this here and this would give me the number of sides if I was going to repeat this the number of sides so for instance a triangle what I'd actually do is I can type in 360 divided by the number of sides and then it's going to become a polygon. I'm just going to save it as my square for the time being. I'll say my square and I give it size 100. Then I give it the number of sides. So if I've done everything correctly, I should now get a, a triangle. And then I get a triangle. There's screen my square size 50. And instead of being a square, I'll make it a hexagon with six sides. So I'll type in number six. And what this is doing is it's going to um, move forward 50. And then it's going to right turn 360 divided by six. And it's going to do that six times. And I get a hexagon. And now I have, it would be more appropriate to rename this as polygon. So now I have a procedure, which is a set of instructions with a name, and I'm passing it two variables. And that's an introduction to logo.